Hey lovelies, it's Ashley, aka Thrift Addict. I hope everybody had an amazing Father's Day for all you fathers out there, or parents, or grandparents, or anyone who acts as a father figure to their child or a child. I hope you had a really great day celebrating and relaxing with your loved ones. Today, as you can see, I am all dolled up in the face area, and today is going to be my review of Lipstick Queen. I did a post about two weeks ago talking about the new Lipstick Queen lipstick called Frog Prince. So today, I'm going to be talking about that. I received it about a week ago because I had ordered it right before I did the post about it. And this is the packaging that it comes in. Please excuse my chip nails. It's really, really cute. Um, this is the second Lipstick Queen product that I have purchased by the way and that I have owned. The first one was a color called Hello Sailor that I did a review on two years ago and that one was completely blue. Uh, the box it came in was blue, the actual lipstick tube itself was blue, and the product was blue. And when you put it on it turned your lips a really beautiful berry stain and it was promised to make your teeth appear whiter. Now this one is called Frog Prince and as you can see this is a really cute box and as you can see it's green and you know, frog prints, and there's this really pretty little picture on the side of a castle and a frog just chilling out on a lily pad. Very, very cute. I love the attention to, to detail in the packaging. And then, as you can see, like, it's it's uh, pink and green here. And then the tube itself is pink and green with the green writing, green writing on the bottom. You open it up, green writing on the inside, and then green lipstick. So they definitely pay close attention. They're very consistent with their details and their color themes for each product. Lipstick Queen is a, has a higher end makeup brand that exclusively does lip products. I've seen their products range from $18 to $50 for one product. And you know, $18 to like $25 is the typical price for most of their products. And that's really standard. You know, you go into Ulta or Sephora, you're going to find a lot of products that are around that price range. But there, they do have some exclusive ones that range from like $40 to $50. So that's where you get into the higher end aspect of it. And this one is one of their more unique lipsticks. The Hello Sailor was another kind of lip changing one, like I said. I haven't tried any of their regular, just regular lip products, like a regular lipstick or a regular lip gloss or lip pencil. But I've got to say, out of the two products from Lipstick Queen that I've tried, I really, really love them. This is super, super pretty. I'm wearing it right now. Like I said, it is green and then goes on. And this was $25. This cost 20 I purchased this from Ulta online. And when I purchased it, they were having a special where if you spend $35, you get free shipping. So since this was $25, I also picked up a Urban Decay eyeliner that was on sale. And this is in the color Woodstock. So I'm going to be doing a review on this on Sunday with hopefully a really fun look to bring to you guys. But today I'm going to be talking about Lipstick Queen obviously because I've already been talking about it but this is really cool this one is not promised to make your teeth look whiter but it is extremely interesting because on me there we go as you can see it's just a really pretty kind of deeper corally color on my skin now I tried to do a little bit of research on it and I can't quite find whether or not it reacts with your body heat specifically or your pH because for each person, this color is going to appear a little bit differently. One of my coworkers is named Carmen and she is full-blooded, you know, Mexican, you know, she's from Mexico and she has darker skin and she has darker colored lips. When she tried this the other day, it took a couple minutes for it to react with her, you know, with her lips, but when it did, it turned this really beautiful light pink. It was a very light pink on her. It was very pretty. And on me, as you can see, I have lighter skin and it's a bit of a darker color. And I naturally have lighter lips as well. So I don't know if it simply reacts with the pH or specific body temperature because maybe our body temperatures were like a couple degrees off. I'm not 100% certain. But... Uh, with the, the same thing, it was the same thing with the Hello Sailor as well, you know, it was a little bit different for each person. So I love color changing things like this. Um, this is extremely 
easy to wear. I mean, I, I, I've been wearing this every single day with any, with every eye makeup look that I've had and just every makeup look in general. And it really goes with pretty much everything. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it and it's just very easy. It's very thoughtless and this stays on for a really, really long time. I'll put this on at the beginning of work and, you know, I can run around, sweat like crazy, you know, bite my lips, talk a lot, you know, all the stuff that I do. And at the end of the day, I will look in a mirror and it's still on there. My lips are still staying this really pretty kind of deeper corally color. It is very beautiful. The only negative thing that I can actually say about this product is that when it wears off, like when you first put it on, it's very uh, hydrating, very, very moisturizing for the lips. When the product finally does wear off, your lips feel a little bit tighter. Now, I feel like that's very common with a lot of tints and, you know, stains and things like that because they're not glosses that are staying on for a long time and keeping that, you know, hydration and they're not lipsticks, which do the same thing. Um, this kind of, it, it goes, like, it's very, it looks very hydrating right now, but when it does wear off, it does take a while to wear off, which is a positive thing. As far as the hydration part, it does leave this color, but the high, like this hydrating part that you can see on my lips right now, it does, you know, eventually kind of wear off and you're left with the color but it does leave your lips feeling a little bit dry. So that's kind of the only negative thing that I would actually say about this product. Aside from that, this is an absolutely amazing product. I really, really love it. I'm excited that I have it. This is going to be a staple in my purse from now on, and my purse is up there, which is why I was like looking up there. <laughs> but I recommend everyone going out and getting this lipstick queen. One of the interesting things about the like the frog prince versus the hello sailors that these are two really unique products when hello sailor came out you know people had written articles about it and done reviews and they were flying off the shelves people couldn't keep them in stock and i called around to six different stores before i found like it was the last store that i called that finally had it and they're like we have restocked this product twice and we're already almost out of it again and there was so much demand for hello sailor now of course you can find hello sailor uh lipstick queen is sold of course through their website through all Ulta, through Bloomingdale's and through Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's has a, has a more limited selection of the colors from Lipstick Queen, but they do carry some Lipstick Queen. But with frog prints, this I didn't like. I was very when I read the article about it, I immediately started hunting around because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, maybe it's gonna be like you know Hello Sailor, and there's gonna be you know a mad dash to try to get them, and there's gonna be a, a shortage. But there seems to be an abundant supply of frog prints so I think that maybe Lipstick Queen saw what happened with Hello Sailor and was like oh my gosh with frog prints we have to make sure that we have enough product stocked at each place so that they don't run out so if you guys you know are like gonna scramble and maybe like spend your last food money on on frog prints I don't think you need to do that I don't think this is going anywhere it seems like it's really well stocked everywhere so I mean like if it's down to you having dinner versus getting a lipstick go get dinner the lipstick will still will still be there tomorrow but i definitely recommend checking it out it is just so cool um i mean it's since you already saw it on my lips like it was already on my lips i'll just put it on my my hand and as you can see it's just as you can see right there just a really really pretty simple sheer gloss and it's really really cool i think there's a bit of a novelty of it when you pull it out of your purse and you go to apply and it's like green and your coworkers are looking at you like, are you really gonna put on green lipstick right now? And then you put it on and it goes to red. And that's what really kind of drew my coworker, Carmen, in was I was like, hey Carmen, check it out. And I like put it up and she's like, she kind of looked at me like, are you really going to do that right now at work? And I was just like, he 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 he. And she was just like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I have to try it. And that's kind of how that whole situation happened. But she was getting a ton of compliments on it because like I said, it is a very different color for every single person. It's very flattering for every skin tone because like I said, it is very, you know, it kind of go, it, it turns to a color that's very unique for each, for each person. So I give the Frog Prince from Lipstick Queen a huge thumbs up and I will link it below so that you guys can get it from Ulta. And I hope you lovelies enjoyed this review. All right.